The Defense Department plans the second test for its super-fast aircraft that can fly at a blistering speed of 13,000 miles per hour, or 20 times the speed of sound. The aero-shaped unmanned Falcon Hypersonic Technology Vehicle 2 is scheduled to be launched between 7 and 1 p.m. today aboard an eight-story Minotaur 5 rocket from Vandenberg Air Force Base just northwest of Santa Barbara, California. If everything goes as planned, the Pentagon would be gifted with a lightning-fast vehicle capable of delivering a military strike anywhere in the world in less than an hour. To give you a better idea of just how fast that is, a plane going that speed could get from Los Angeles to New York in under 12 minutes. The rocket will puncture the Earth's atmosphere, then release FTVH-2. The superfast weapon will glide over the Pacific Ocean at nearly 20 times the speed of sound. The test flight will last 30 minutes before the FHTV-2 hits the water and sinks about 4,000 miles from the Vandenberg Air Force Base. If the aircraft can complete its 30-minute flight, the project will continue, otherwise the project will be shelved indefinitely. The first HTV-2 was launched in April 2010, but it disappeared over the Pacific after just nine minutes of flight, and the vehicle was never recovered. The first flight was used to improve aerodynamic models and optimize the design for the second flight. DARPA and Lockheed Martin both built the FHTVs. If the government doesn't provide more funding, the scheduled second flight of the Falcon Hypersonic Technology Vehicle 2 could be its last.